Hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, presenting to you another GTA San Andreas walkthrough type video. This one is the second mission for Zero. He's that guy you bought the store from and then had to shoot down some small biplanes because Zero's nemesis sent them to attack his shop. Well, now Zero wants to get his revenge, and CJ is going to help him out. It is a little wacky and kind of crazy, and I'll point out some stuff while in the video. So let's get on with this mission. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, nymphs are pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now. Where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! My crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Deliveries. Launch the Now, Red I found Baron. that it's best to land the plane and shoot the delivery people because. You know, if you're trying to fly around in straight, you burn up a lot of fuel. The major danger in landing the airplane and trying to shoot the delivery guys is they're armed and they will shoot back. But if you do this right, you should be able to kill the delivery away. guys or blow up their crimes. vehicles before they destroy the plane. Again, if you're flying around trying to strafe, well, you're going to burn up a ton of fuel and you may end up crashing the airplane because it ran out of fuel rather than getting it damaged by some bullets. Now, the easiest way to do this is to, once you've taken out one guy, fly to the furthest away person. It's not a timed mission, but want to try and conserve fuel and not get your plane damaged by running into things like I just did. So it's best to get up in the air as high as you can and fly over the buildings and then bring the plane in and land it once you get near the next delivery person. Now the delivery people will try and flee and trying to follow them or weave around through the city is not a good idea as well. Try and get the plane, pay attention to the radar and when the delivery person is more stabilized you can then fly to their area and shoot them. This guy was a little more difficult, and so, you know, trying to weave through and shoot, uh, he's going to the square, 
he'll probably drive around the square and again this guy was really difficult to take down Okay, they got away, so I'm going to fast forward to where I do take them down because I had to do a lot more flying to get to where they were. I took that guy down with the airplane. I'm going to fast forward again to where I take down Berkeley's delivery people after they had just escaped. Again, it's a lot of flying, and this thing doesn't handle very well. What I find is interesting is Zero is reveling in CJ using a remote-controlled plane to kill people. This is way before drones, so GTA San Andreas was ahead of its time. And I'm going to fast forward to the next delivery person that I take out because, yeah, there is a lot of flying involved. This model plane is surprisingly durable, so on to the next guy to take down. Okay, during this mission the plane can get stuck in the ground a little bit because the elevation control or sensor or whatever it is doesn't work very well in this game and so yeah. The best way to do it is just to keep going and try and get onto the sidewalk where the plane lifts out of the ground and you can then fly it to the next area. Okay, the last two were in relatively quick succession. There was a few minor glitches, but now it's time to get back to Zero's roof. And this is why you need to kind of land and shoot, because if you burn out the fuel, and I've done this before when I've played this game, uh, you can't even make it to Zero's roof without crashing and you got to start the whole mission all over again. But I have well over 50% fuel capacity, so easy enough to get to Zero's roof and land and win.
smell it. You know that ozone smell. Smells like victory. There you have it. Zero's second mission. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Reminding you to subscribe, uh, smash the like button, smash the dislike button. Again, subscribing costs nothing. And I give a free webcomic every Sunday at my website, www.barstoolentertainment.com. The link is in the main description of my page. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thank mm -hmm. you.